Hey folders, Dev Josh here with a guide for how to move stuff around in Foldit. Manipulating proteins in 3D space is tricky because you're using a 2D screen to look at a 3D object. But in this video, I'm going to break down what you need to know to get your protein where you want it to be. Let's talk basic controls. Click and drag the background to rotate your camera around. Middle click and drag to pan and right click and drag to zoom. You can also zoom with the scroll wheel or the page up, page down keys. You can change these controls in the general options. You can recenter your protein by pressing Q on the background. And if you ever want to reset the camera completely, press home to go back to its original position. Your protein is made up of a chain of residues. You can focus on a specific one by hovering over it and pressing Q. Now that we know how to move our camera, let's move our protein around. The first level shows you to pull the protein by clicking and dragging, but how do we actually get it to where we want it to go? The secret is that all of your movements are perpendicular to the plane of the camera. So if I pull this all the way to the right and then rotate my camera 90 degrees, I'll be facing it head on. It's easier to see with a rubber band, so let's make one of those. To make a rubber band, Hold shift and click and drag from the protein to where you want a band to. Notice that the band will snap to where I'm hovering over the protein, but I can also drag it out onto the background to make it a band in space or space band. Notice that wherever I move the band to in space, it stays at the same depth as the other end. So if I drag it out to here and let go, I can spin my camera around to get a better sense of where it is three dimensionally. How can we use this knowledge to our advantage? Let's say I want to band the protein to this target position. I drag my first band to appear over it, but when I rotate my camera around, it's not actually on the position. So I'm going to try to find a camera angle that really highlights how far away I am, and I'm going to drag it on top of my target again. And if I need to make more fine grain adjustments, I can keep doing this, nudging it in 3D space until it's definitely where I want it to be. This works for pulling too. If I want to pull the protein to a certain 3D space, I just need to find what plane I want to move it along and rotate my camera to be facing that plane. Sometimes you'll need a bit more control, so let's go over what else your camera can do. If you click and drag on the edges of the screen, you'll rotate the camera's orientation without moving its position in space. If you hold Control and Shift and left click and drag, you can control the background clipping. Control and Alt and left click and drag controls the foreground clipping. Shift and Alt and left click and drag controls the lighting or fog. I hope this was a helpful guide for how to move your protein and camera around.